it runs. So this is one of those Walmart Hyperbike 26 inch beach cruisers. I put this motor kit on it out of, off of eBay and bought a center stand because I knew I'd need that. And uh, there it is, looks good, works good. And I got this motorcycle headlight I had laying around. I tried to mount it on the, on the handlebars there. I didn't like it. It just looked too frail. So I thought I'd beef up the front suspension just for looks. Cut up some metal here. Got some ideas going. And uh, so, yeah, welded some uh, stock together there. And uh, drilled a few holes, did a little grinding. Mounted that puppy on there. That was my first look at it. So then I cut everything and uh, decided where I wanted the headlight. Got that going and um, welded the bottom. Got all the bolts welded on nice. And painted it up and uh, mounted the headlight on it. And it looks decent. Uh Yeah, there it is. I put some LED bulbs in that uh, housing there, inside of that, and then I uh, decided to make the tail light, which is like a truck uh, marker light. Mounted it up under the seat to the bolts under there on that little bracket, and it uh, worked out real good. LEDs. Well, then the box showed up from China. There's the motor. I was really excited about this, putting this on, mocked it up. Moved it around a little bit. It took a while to get it on there right because uh, some of the holes don't line up. But uh, there it is coming together. And uh, got that uh, rag joint on there. That wasn't a whole lot of fun. Well, jumping ahead, one of the first trips I took out with the bike, the chain came off and locked up. Turns out it stretched. So I bought this Triton 41 dash 1R. It's a lot heavier and uh, it's working out real good. There I broke the key when the chain came off. How about that? Alright, so here it is now. Do a little walk around, get a look at it, go through some of this stuff. Here it is, uh, the red engine cover, I don't know, might look better black. Uh, what happened here was, uh, they gave me a smaller sprocket for the kit, which is nicer because uh, if you do have to pedal with this chain dragon and all that, it's better to have a little bit lower gear. Uh, here's the, uh, here's the, um, motorcycle type uh, chain tensioners that I put on here uh, the um, this is the what is it the 144 or the 142 this is the 53 53 cc four stroke uh, just fits nice in there I mean it just fits perfect the choke actually works I don't have to cut it off um, everything seem to go really well the thing starts in like one pull you can leave it sitting a lot of times it'll start in one pull after it's been sitting for a week so uh no complaints there um carrying this light around with me while i'm doing this the handlebars if they swing around i need to put a, a block on it so it won't swing around swung around and hit the tank how about that put a nice chip in the paint whatever uh Okay, so that's that. And uh got our lights here. We'll turn the lights on just for kicks. And the lights are on. I uh, went ahead and did the chain guard. A lot of people were saying the chain guard is just a pain in the ass and it uh, rattles and what have you. I found it to be really nice. Uh, I used the um, some of the crap they gave me there. You know, I bent it around and put some rubber underneath it. You know, it looks better without that light. I'm just going to go without it. I put some rubber underneath it and um, bolted it to the uh, chain guard. And then back here, 
I cut a notch out of the chain guard right here and then bent it, you know, around so it would go. And I drilled a hole in this part of the chassis and put this uh, nice screw in there as a nut on the back. So that's that. that. That's really nice. I mean, it's it's on there. It is not rattling. It's not moving around. It's It's tough. We'll see how it holds up. If it cracks and falls apart with all the vibration, I don't know. Uh, the side here, I had, um, it was all plastic. This is a very narrow, I like this belt drive. Look how narrow it is. Very narrow, but it had a black cover and it was just this big thing. So uh, I took it off to adjust the uh, belt, which was a little loose. And uh, this bolt happened to be loose, so it was a good thing I got in there. So uh, when I had it off, I said, damn, this looks good without the cover. I like the mechanical aspect of it. But it was easy to catch your uh, pants leg or something in here, and it could just be a nightmare for somebody. Uh, you know, I let other people ride this, so you know, I didn't want anybody to get hurt. So I was like, dang, I wish I could show that off. So I got this uh, insert here, uh, this hole saw. And just carved out the center here. And now I've got this nice pulley. I like it. It looks great. I mean, it changed the whole look of the bike. Uh, the exhaust is made up of... The muffler, obviously, was from the original uh, pipe. And then I was originally going to use some EMT and what have you. And do some bends here. But it came way out, and it was kind of slopey, and I wanted this look. I wanted this this bend, and I wanted this. And I'm telling you, this thing fits in here so nice. It's just tucked in. We've got a bracket welded to the muffler and then onto the motor mount back here. Uh, but the bend came out really nice. What it is is the handlebars that came with the bike, the cruiser handlebars, the black ones. They had some really nice bends in them. I'm like, damn, if they're the right size, and they were. They were perfectly matched up to this uh, flange right here. So I cut that off, and then I got these bends. I got one bend here and then another bend here. Maybe a third bend. I'm not sure. I can't remember. There's pictures I'll show. But anyway, welded it together. Not bad. The welds weren't terrible. And uh decided to put this heat wrap on it, but, you know, I think it might look better in a in a, a satin black heat paint with maybe a little uh, chrome guard on here. I don't know to blend in with that. But uh, anyway, I put the heat wrap on it and uh, it's tough. It's on there good. I went ahead and did the twist on the bottom and up here I did the clamp. I don't I'm not crazy about that clamp, but it does the job. So that's the exhaust. Uh, the center stand. The bolts they gave me with this thing, it was like a, I don't know, class, what is it, a class six or something? Uh, the hardness was, I mean, it just stripped like butter. It was terrible. So I got a, what is this, 10.1 or something like that, uh, bolt and nut, and put that in there. Man, that thing's tight now. You can really crank it down. And I had rivets in here, which kind of made the bike a little bit uh, wobbly, like when you were moving it around or sitting on it or you know, what have you. So I took the rivets out and I put these lock nut bolts in there and uh, much sturdier. Much sturdier now. It's more, a little bit more like a motorcycle. Okay, so we got that and uh, what else? Let's see. Sprocket. That's a 44 on there now. I'm going to a 36. They gave me the uh, four bolt chain tensioner, which I liked. And I changed the uh, actual bolts. I think the nuts are the same. I'm not sure what I did. Anyway, these these, these bolts will strip so easy. They're they're real. That's one thing with the kit that wasn't really that great was the bolts. But hey, you know, get your own bolts. It works good. Uh, everything's good down here. We got uh, there's the uh, the front brake I replaced first thing when I first got the bike. Uh, I had one of these caliper brakes and, uh, you know, typical bicycle brake. And, 
it went right through. There was a hole there to hold the uh, to hold the fender, mounted right up. So I brought it up, cut the cable, and I used a motorcycle uh, brake lever. Fit right on here, of course, perfectly. This is the uh, cell phone mount. It's uh, stainless, or I mean aluminum. Bolts on. This part's aluminum too, which I liked. And it comes with some nice hardware. Uh, it holds my uh, S9 Plus that I'm shooting on right now. And um, I put this rubber in here to cover up the screws. I thought it looked better. But uh, got that. Got my switch. And I'm going to do a video here for uh, for the YouTube. So uh, I need to get a riding video. Made the... Uh, Made the uh, mirror out of some parts from a motorcycle mirror and what have you. Thought it looked kind of mechanical. It works okay. I'd rather have maybe something coming off the bars. I'll get to that someday. What else we got here? Kill switch. This hardware was fine. I, everybody was whining about all this. I I think the hardware is fine. In fact, a matter of fact, the whole kit was just awesome. I have no complaints about the kit for that price. Uh, the quality was there. All the parts were there. So uh, that's all good. Let's see what else we got. Like I said, I put LEDs in there. I mean, you know, there are two taillight LEDs. Uh, it's better because it drains, you know, almost nothing. And I've got a self, I mean, a uh, RC battery Velcroed on here. And it plugs in to one of the uh, terminals on it. Easy to charge. Lasts a long time. I need to do a little bit of mounting of that. But it's been on there. It hasn't budged. So it's okay. It just doesn't look great. So that's it. Uh, the bike, uh, the, the chain guard fit. Uh, everything fit nice. I had a little bit of a time with the motor. Like everybody says, you have to grind uh, the slots a little better to keep it from hitting over here. But look how narrow that motor is. That's... A lot narrower than the older ones so yeah we'll get our starter up here and uh, uh, take it for a ride looking good okay it's been sitting for uh, well since last weekend but it's been sitting about six days uh, pull the choke to this side to start turn the fuel on and it's been sitting and a little bit of fuel on in there and let's see what it takes to get the frame. It's pretty wild. Two poles. Pole, nice idle. Great little motor. I'm going to take it for a ride and uh, run it through the paces there and uh, you know take it for a little ride and get you know, get to know it a little bit so uh, we'll put that up after a while but there it is I appreciate it it's, uh, it's a good good uh, kit and uh, made the bike a whole lot of fun I can't wait to take it down to Florida and ride it on the beaches so appreciate it y'all have a good one